Hey everyone, welcome to this psychology lecture series. In this video, we are going to talk about quasi experimental method. Quasi experimental design involves selecting groups where a variable is tested without any random pre selection processes. For example, let us consider an experiment taking place in a school. Consider a class to be divided by alphabetic selection or by seating arrangement. This type of division is often convenient. After this selection, the experiment proceeds in a very similar way to any other experiment, with a variable being compared between different groups or over a period of time. The aim of the quasi experiment is the same as that of a true experiment, that is, to understand a cause effect relationship. The initial steps involved in a quasi experiment are essentially the same as those employed with experimental designs. First, a problem must be identified and then a hypothesis spelled out in detail and to the point. Usually, pre selection and randomization of groups is often difficult. They can be very useful in generating results for general trends. Let us consider an example in which we study the effect of maternal alcohol use when the mother is pregnant. We know that alcohol does harm embryos. A strict experimental design would include that mothers were randomly assigned to drink alcohol. This would be highly illegal because of the possible harm the study might do to the embryos. So what researchers do is to ask people how much alcohol they used in their pregnancy and then assign them to groups. So what researchers do is to ask people how much alcohol they used in their pregnancy and then assign them to groups. Vasi experimental design is often integrated with individual case studies. Without Extensive pre-screening and randomization needing to be undertaken, they do reduce the time and resources needed for experimentation. The main disadvantages is that without proper randomization, statistical tests can be meaningless. For example, these experimental designs do not take into account any pre-existing factors. As for the mothers, what made them drink or not drink alcohol? A quasi-experiment constructed to analyze the effects of different educational programs on two groups of children, for example, might generate results that show one program is more effective than other. One group of children may have been slightly more intelligent or motivated. Without some form of pre-testing or random selection, it is hard to judge the influence of such factors. Passy experiments are very good way to obtain a general overview and then follow up with a case study or quantitative experiment to focus on the underlying reasons for the results generated. I hope you like this video. Please share these videos with everyone who is preparing for this exam. Thank you.